What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Now I just pulled up to the gym. I'm actually about to get a push workout started, but I thought I'd show you guys exactly what I do in my push workout days. In case you guys have want to switch up your routine, maybe try a little bit different, or if you're new to the gym, this will be a perfect push workout like day to do if you're new to the gym. And I also purposely wore this wife beater for this video because since we are working out chest, shoulders, and triceps, you know we're gonna get a sick pump in. So I thought I'd put on the beater for today's video. And I'm also rocking this chain too. I feel like this chain makes me look a little bit, a little bit badass. I don't know what you guys think. But anyways, yo, let's go get this workout started. first exercise that we're doing is actually one of my favorites it's the incline dumbbell press and the reason why I love this one so much is because one like working your upper chest anything shoulders not only that's gonna help build an aesthetic physique where you look like bigger and you pop more I like the dumbbell one better because you're able to get more of a better stretch a good alternative for this one is the barbell one but sometimes what I notice with some people in the barbell they don't really go all the way down so they don't get really that much a full of a stretch but with the dumbbells one, you're able to get a really nice stretch and push up. And with the dumbbells as well too, it's going to help you stay a little bit more mobilized. And if you have like neck issues, like you guys, I'm very open. I've always had like some neck pain or issues when I'm in the ring. And just doing dumbbells will help not hurt my neck as much as I'm when doing a barbell. But dumbbell, dumb, incline dumbbell press is a great one to start for everybody's chest. If you're looking just for building aesthetic physique to look good, yo, the, the upper chest is great. And also, you guys, I was living in the 70s, so this was very exercise. I'm already gonna have breath. Like I'm breathing hard as I'm saying this, but yeah, this is a, it's a good workout, but man, it's not it's not easy. But get you get you big, man. I think we got a pump going. Alright, All right, guys. So the second exercise that I do is a, a standing dumbbell press. Now the reason why I do it standing is because like when, when I'm lifting that weight up, not only am I working my shoulders, but I'm also working my core as well. Because when I lift that weight up over my head, your, your core naturally is gonna wanna keep you stabilized. And when, if you do this, you're gonna notice that you're gonna like shake a little bit. And that's your core working to keep you stabilized. And doing that is gonna make your core a bit stronger. So not only are you working your shoulders, like your front delt, but you're also working your core. And this one is a bit more challenging as well because you're gonna have to go a little bit lighter than if you were to go to an alternative, like a sitting down dumbbell press or even a military press. Yeah, you can lift more weight up there, but with this one, you have to go a little bit more uh, more lighter because it's more challenging. You guys see, I'm out of breath, but this is a great one, especially for building strength on your shoulders or getting your front delts in. exercise that we're doing, I think this is the third one, yeah, third one, right? Yeah, yeah. Third exercise that we're doing is a machine fly. Now, another uh, good alternative, this one is with the cables, but honestly, uh, I'll do the cables one sometimes, but I just, re I just really like doing this one. I just like it more, but uh, that's another good one as well. But the reason why I like doing this, mainly is to get a, a really good stretch on your chest. Because when you think about it, when you work out, it's all about really stretching the muscle. And this machine pec fly will help really stretch out your chest, and you contract. And what you want to do is when you contract it, hold it for a second to really feel that burn and control the weight back down. And if you're gonna do that, you're gonna feel a nice stretch on your chest. And that's the main goal. You really just wanna get a nice stretch on your chest so you can get more blood flow in. The more blood flow in that gets in there, the more pump up and the more, the more, the more you feel it really. But it's just really to get a nice stretch. So I just realized I forgot to talk about the side delt one and we just got done doing triceps, but I'm gonna talk about both of them. So the, uh, the exercise we did before is the dumbbell side laterals. Now what that really is just gonna work on is the side of the delt because on your shoulders, you have three heads. You have the front, the side, and the rear. And it's really totally worth the side delt is really just doing these dumbbell side laterals. I know a good alternative for that is doing it with a cable, but really I just do dumbbells and I did a drop set. So with that one, I did around 10 to 15 reps with 17.5 and then just dropped it down to like 10 pounds and just really just maxed it out, did like to failure really. So that was that one. 
And this one, what we did was a tricep extension, really to work on the tricep. And the tricep actually has two heads. It's got this little head right here and this little long head right here. My triceps are pretty small, so you probably can barely see my tricep muscle. But it's just a great way to work this head of the triceps. And the key is with this one is to really extend and squeeze for a second and then control it back up and squeeze. All right, so the last and final exercise we're gonna do is another tricep one. And this time we're gonna do like another tricep extension, but with this grip. Now this grip is gonna help us work more of the long head of the tricep. And same thing as the tricep extension, the key is to go down and squeeze for a second and control it back up, back down and squeeze. So we're, try, we're at least gonna try to get at least four, like four sets, 10, 15 reps. Guys, workout complete. The gains begin. And that's exactly what, how one of my push workout days looks like. Everything I just showed you, everything I just did is exactly what I do. So if you guys want to try this uh, try this workout, yo, please feel free to try it out. Give it a shot. And if you guys are wondering uh, why I only did like two chest exercises, the reason why I did that too is because I do have an upper body day as well, but I do, do also train chest and back. And in those days, I will do more like a flat bench and stuff, and other chest exercises. But for this one, on a, like a specific push day, I work a little bit more of the upper chest. Sometimes I'll do a flat, but this is exactly how one of my push days looks like. So, yeah, guys. And, uh, and like, this is optional as well. I, I am gonna do like 20 minutes of cardio, just at, like a fast walk, but that's optional. If you guys wanna do cardio, I'm gonna do it, because like I have to do cardio. And if there's time, or if I feel good and not lazy, I will train a little bit of abs. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. This is my push workout. Post gym, we're actually here at Don Miguel's Juicery Rotisic Acai Bowl place here in Hendersonville, and we're actually we actually got their Chipotle chicken sandwich. Now this sandwich here is fire. Like this, this aside the Acai Bowls, like this is one of my favorite things to get here. Super healthy. We got grilled chicken, tomato, mozzarella, cheese, creo, queso, chipotle sauce. But go solid 8.5 out of 10, this is really good. And also one of the little details they do is they give like some piña with tahini on top. So this is a, a, a bonus, an added plus. Mm. we just work out today but I'm actually about to go in the ring today roll around for a little bit try some new stuff so it's a very active day and I have a feeling I'm gonna be really really sore tomorrow but there's some stuff I do want to try some more lucha libre moves so I'm gonna try to record some some clips but I'll, I'll try to get some clips down so I can show you guys exactly what I've been kind of kind of working on some cool little hope spots and even a new finisher but I actually got to meet up with a couple of the boys around four and it's uh four well actually oh, that's my discover card 430, 1, 2, 3, So as you guys saw, I was trying some new stuff. I was working on a new comeback spot and you guys saw towards the end. It was a little a little bit a little sloppy, but it was like uh we did it a couple times practicing it. So the only thing I have to really do is just polish it and the timing and so it can look nice, nice and clean. But I just got back home, I just got out of the shower. I'm actually currently editing the, this current video right now here on Final Cut. So this video should be ready by the end of tonight. I'm actually almost done with it. But yeah, it was a fun time rolling around the ring, trying just new stuff and doing a lot of aerial stuff, like from high flying. 
I told you I was gonna do some lucha libre stuff, but I just wanna show you guys some clips and how it's really like just practicing and getting around, getting around the ring. But anyways, I think it's a perfect way to wrap up the video right here. If you guys made it towards the end, yo, I truly, truly appreciate that. Like always, thank you again for tuning in the end of the video. If you guys made it this far, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Comment, let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel, yo, definitely click subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell to get notified when I upload the newest videos on the channel. Like always, guys, I will see y'all in the next video. And I hope you've also found this video informative. And definitely try that push workout if you're needing a new workout routine or just getting into fitness. But anyways, I will see y'all in the next video. You guys take care. Peace.